never stop learning, never stop growing. Hi friends, welcome to Smile YouTube channel, easy way to learn English. First of all, thank you, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So, in this video, we will tell you about idioms. So, what is an idiom? English needs to be used in idioms compulsory. What is the main purpose of using idioms in English language? Read your answers that you are going to learn in this video. Okay? So, don't waste the time. Let's get started. Before getting into the topic, I request you to please do subscribe my channel, like, comment and share with your friends. And don't forget to click on bell icon so you will get a notification whenever I upload any Never stop growing. Okay, what is an idiom? As an idiom and AMT. First we should know the spelling of idiom. What is this? I-D-I-O-M Idiom Idiom is nothing but group of words which gives a different meaning from the actual words. Idiom and the end is the Padali Kalaika Valla Yarpadi What is the exact meaning of the different meaning is the different meaning. And what is the meaning of the different meaning? For example, if you take one idiom, what is that? A piece of cake. What is that idiom? A piece of cake. Already I have written on the board. It is an idiom. It gives a different meaning from the actual words. And the meaning is very different. And what is the meaning of the idiom? A piece of cake is the meaning of the general. A piece from a cake that we take and we have it. But here it is not that. It gives different meaning. Very adhan is tundi. Adhan enti parchudda. A piece of cake ante very easy. Learning English is a piece of cake to us. English nech kodan chala sulu. Here a piece of cake is an idiomatic expression. Idiomatic expressions means it gives a different meaning from the actual words. Ede na oka vakya very adhan is te. What is the first one that we have learnt? A piece of cake. Very easy. So I have written top 10 idioms which we use in our day to day life conversation. That I have already written on the board. Have you touched that? So after learning these idioms, I hope you are also going to use them in your day to day life conversation because they are very nice one very useful one and also which we like to use them so let's see what they are okay fine what is the first one a piece of cake we learnt it a piece of cake means what very easy repairing a mobile repairing a mobile is a piece of cake to me mobile repair chadana chala sulu uh, teaching English is a piece of cake to me. English is When you feel something is very easy, you can use this idiomatic expression. Okay. So, earning money is a piece of cake to us. Sometimes we tell. So, a piece of cake So, coming to the next one is knocked on my wheels. What is the second one? Knocked on my wheels. By looking at their behavior, I am not on my wheels. By looking at their behavior, I am not on my wheels. What is the meaning of not on my wheels? Not on my wheels means surprised. When you get surprised, you can say that I am not on my wheels. Very surprised. So by looking at the celebrity who came to Vishakapatnam, I knocked on my wheels while I was giving shake hand to him or shake hand to her. So I am knocked on my wheels and then surprise I am. If you are talking about her, she is knocked on her wheels. She is knocked on her wheels. Here my is used because of I am telling about myself. If you are talking about her. She is knocked on her 
whales. Ame chala surprise aindi. When you are speaking about any surprise, you can use this idiomatic expression. Knocked on my wheels. Knocked on his wheels. Knocked on her wheels. Knocked on their wheels. I hope it is clear to you. And coming to the third one. Get into hot water. Yepodena yavarena sare. Walla yaka. Paristitini. Yibandula pitakodani. Manam. E. Sentence of Pagin Chapach. E. Idiomatic expression of Pagin Chapach. Adenda Chuda. Why to get into hot water? Make it very easy or make it done clearly. Either a paniche set up at Subranga Chidam Manchadi. Yenduku Ibandalo Paradam. So why to get into hot water? I hope it is clear to you. So try to use get into hot water. So it's better to prepare well instead of uh, without preparing and going for examination. Then you will definitely get into hot water. Yavaraina sare, yepudaina sare bandhalo padtaru ane tapudu. E sentence ane dopya ginche mana express cheyech. So never ever get into hot water. Prepare yourself and be ready to face it. So never ever get into hot water. So make yourself in trouble is called get into hot water. Then manam get into hot water on your I hope it is clear to you. Start using this one in your day to day life conversation. Okay. Then coming to the next one. Once in a blue moon. What is this meaning? Once in a blue moon. Rarely. Once in a blue moon. I celebrate my birthday once in a blue moon. She speaks in English once in a blue moon. Ame Rarega English law And he goes shopping once in a blue moon. Adadu shopping. She pays uh, she pays once in a blue moon. Ame Aruduga will pay just the she pays bill once in a blue moon. Edina Kupani Aruduga the Ruth and a Dapuramanum once in a blue moon and either pay in church. And coming to the fifth one, pull up your socks. Pull up your socks. When you want to make someone to get ready for doing any task, we use this pull up your socks. Either of a pani, Kunchen customer chairman chapadanik manam, pull up your socks and edi, opiavista. So your exams are nearby. So you should pull up your socks. That means you should be ready with the hard work. That is called pull up your socks. When you want to make someone to get ready for doing something by doing hard work. So that is called pull up your socks. Pull up your socks and intendi. Idanakapani concha. Custabadi chayman chapad. That is called pull up your socks. So these are the five idiomatic expressions that we have learnt. Learning. Never stop growing. Next one I have written on the board is put in cold storage. Idanakapani. Taravata cheyu, ledente apive yu and chapali and te, you can use this idiomatic expression. Hey, you just put this one in cold stories. That means you are telling the work to be done later, otherwise, stop it at the time. Suppose a teacher is uh, explaining a topic, but a student is writing notes. Oh, you just put the work in cold stories and listen to the class. Is it clear? So, this is a funny postpone chidam leather as a man, api veda niko peg in chapada name on tamana. Here, put in cold stories. Put in cold stories. It is an idiomatic expression to tell that something should be postponed or something should be stopped at that time. That is the sixth one. Coming to the seventh one, hold one's tongue. Hold one's tongue. That means keep quiet. If Every student is making a lot of noise in the class, but teacher got angry. She is getting irritated. 
and she said everybody hold in one's tongue hold in one's tongue that is called hold one's tongue so just hold one's tongue you can do is it clear hold one's tongue means keep quiet next one kill two birds with one stone kill two birds with one stone edaina rendu lakshalanu oke samayamlo guri pettadanne manam kill two birds with one stone edaina rendu ponulanu oke sari cheyamu cheppadaniki alanti idiomatic expression upayoginchachandi kill two birds with one stone that is called another idiomatic expression to explain and to express your feelings about any two action that should be done at once so alante vaatiki manam ee idiomatic expression anedi upayoginchachu and come to the ninth one at the eleventh hour at the eleventh hour ఏదైనా ఒక పని చివరి సమయంలో జరిగింది అని చెప్పడానికి అట్ ది లెవెన్త్ అవర్ అని అనొచ్చు సో ఈరోజు మీటింగ్ చాలా బాగా జరిగింది అట్ ది లెవెన్త్ అవర్ మై బాస్ ఆస్ట్ మీ ఫ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ అబౌట్ ద కంపెనీ దట్ మీన్స్ చివరి సమయంలో మా బాస్ కంపెనీ గురించి కొన్ని విషయాలు అడిగారు సో టుడే ఐ వెంట్ టు కాలేజ్ అట్ ది లెవెన్త్ అవర్ ఐ మెట్ న్యూ ఫ్రెండ్స్ అంటే చివరి సమయంలో నేను కొత్త స్నేహితులను కలిశాను ఏదైనా ఒక పని చివరి సమయంలో జరిగింది ఆ జరుగుతుంది ఆ జరగబోతుంది అప్పుడు మనం అట్ ద లెవెన్త్ అవర్ అనేది ఉపయోగించవచ్చు ఓకే అండ్ కమింగ్ టు ది లాస్ట్ వన్ యాపిల్ ఆఫ్ వన్స్ హాయ్ యాపిల్ ఆఫ్ వన్స్ హాయ్ ఏదైనా ఒక వస్తువు కానీ ఏదైనా ఒకటి చాలా ఇష్టం అనేటప్పుడు you can say that apple of one's high sharing my knowledge on social media is apple of my eye and learning english or learning something new is apple of my eye so apple of one's eye is called which is very interesting or you can say that చాలా ఇష్టం ఏదైనా ఒక పని ఆ ఒక వస్తువు చాలా ఇష్టం అనేటప్పుడు యాపిల్ ఆఫ్ వన్ సై అనేది చెప్పచ్చు బట్ నవే డేస్ మొబైల్ ఈజ్ యాపిల్ ఆఫ్ వన్ సై బికాస్ ఎవరిబడి లైక్స్ ఇట్ అండ్ సో ఆస్కింగ్ డౌట్స్ ఈజ్ యాపిల్ ఆఫ్ ఎర్ ఐ ఆస్కింగ్ డౌట్ ఈజ్ యాపిల్ ఆఫ్ హెర్ ఐస్ that is called the last idiomatic expression i hope you have learned something today so try to use all these 10 idiomatic expressions in your day to day life conversation and make your communication better than past so thank you friends thank you so much for watching this video mere kadandi inka evaraina nechukovalanukune vallaki ee link anedi share cheyandi even they will also learn it okay so thank you friends thank you so much for watching this video so if you did not subscribe my channel please do subscribe like comment and share with your friends kinda bell icon untundi dani matram marchipokunda click cheyandi so thank you friends and have a great day never stop growing